Ian Robson here from Green Tractors Port Perry. Today we're going to look at the 1023 over here versus the 1025 over here. Let's take a look. So one of the very first differences you'll probably notice between these two tractors is going to be the seat. You can see on this one we got a regular seat, no armrests on that one. If we go ahead and take a look at the 1025 over here, you can see that we have armrests on this one right here, as you can see, on the other side. And as you can see, it's a much thicker seat, so it's going to be a little bit more comfortable. One of the differences you'll notice is that on the 1025, you have a rubber mat right here, whereas on the 1023 over here, you have just a standard plastic. So you'll be able to get, get a bit more reduced uh, of fatigue, basically, when you're using the op when you're using it as the operator. Uh, one of the other big differences is going to be some of the trim on the 1023. You can see it's just green over here. Uh, on this side, it's just green over here. Whereas on the 1025, you can see that right over there, that's all black. Also, one of the differences right here is that you don't have a 12 volt outlet, whereas on the 1025, you do have a 12 volt outlet right in that location right here, as you can see right here. One of the, one of the differences, one of the differences is the fact that you get the lights on the fender itself on the 1025, you get one on each side, whereas on the 1023, you do not get those lights. However, on the ROPS, the rollover protection system, you do get your lights up there as well. Uh, one of the differences is going to be with your three-point hitch. Uh, with a three-point hitch on the 1025, you're able to set the position and have it set there every single time. So if I want to drop it down to, let's say, a few inches, I can set it down to that, that level every single time to that level. Whereas on the 1023, what I'll have to do is I'll have to kind of gauge it every single time because with this three-point hitch, it'll just go back to the center every single time. So you kind of have to make some adjustments. If you're doing any kind of greater type work or ground engaging work with a plow, for example, or a box blade, you're probably gonna look at the 1025 a bit more for the use of the three point hitch. One of the features that is on the 1025 is the tilt steering right here, as you can see. So depending on the size of, depending on the, size of the operator, sometimes having that tilt steering makes it much easier to get into the machine with the availability of the tilt steering as well. Uh, lastly, you'll notice that uh, there are some differences, there are some similarities as well, differences here. Uh, one thing to note is the fact that on both of them it's the same frame, and one of the differences of that is the fact that over here we have 23 horsepower on the 1023, whereas on the 1025 you have 25 horsepower over here. One more difference between the 1025 and the 1023 is that 1025 has cruise control, so if you want to mow at a certain speed for an extended period of time, you have that option of cruise control right here, whereas in the 1023, there's no cruise control. So those are some of the primary differences between the two different tractors. I hope you enjoy. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more looks at different tractors from Green Tractors Poor Perry. Catch you guys later.